Right guys, uh, soldering aluminium part two. Okay, I've sorted the lighting out, that's a little bit better now. Hopefully you can see the logos on all of this stuff. So this is Harris Stay Clean Aluminium Soldering Flux. There are other brands available, I'd imagine they all work the same as long as it's aluminium soldering flux. That's the uh, solder wire. Oh, I'm always holding everything too high. Now you can't see it because light's still too bright. Oh, I'm sorry guys. And then you've got the old cup alloys. There they are, so you can check them out. Now, uh, sound a bit more positive because I've just had a little bit of success with it. Um, it was user error. I phoned up uh, cup alloys, spoke to the fella who were there, and he said, no, 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 don't use any sandpaper or emery cloth or anything like that. A little bit of wire wool, um, if you need to, but you really shouldn't. It shouldn't be a problem. So, we'll try again, <laughs> and uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing this time and it's not too whited out and we have some success. So there's this aluminium battery tab, right there. We're not going to clean it with any abrasives, we're going to go straight on with the Stay Clean Flux. And the advice is, get plenty on. Get plenty on on so that's what we're going to do however he does also say that this flux is quite corrosive so you should do what you can to clean away any residue afterwards uh, we may use a little acetone and a stiff brush so you can just brush all the last bits away so we've got the soldering iron that's up at 350 degrees which is uh, 100 degrees more than the solder needs to melt apparently uh, oh, before we dive in we better get something to solder to it that looks alright, I'll just snip that down. There's the job. Okay, so that we're going to stick that piece on. And the, the vibe is we, we're going on like that, and we're just going to extend that out and give us a better surface to, uh, to solder onto when we come to join these packs back up. So, we'll have a little bit of flux on there. And I'm going to tin up both sides. I don't know if you're supposed to. He didn't specify, but I'm going to because I just like the idea that... Yeah, look how it flows. Boom. I just like the idea that there's a bit of, bit of solder on each side to melt into it, you know. In fact, here's a blob of solder from earlier. <laughs> yeah. Weird stuff. And I'm going to put even more solder on that joint now. I really don't think you can use too much of this stuff for what he was saying. It's just get it on. So, we're going to... Uh, normally I'd put my forceps on this battery tab and take a little heat away, but there just isn't enough tab to get in. So... Look at that, guys! You see that? Oh, the light's still playing around. There we go. Yeah, you see him on that negative terminal. We've got a nice little slugger weld uh, solder rather on there now. So hopefully, I'll warm these two up and they'll go together. No problem. He says. Boom. Cosmetically, I'm hoping it'll get better as I do more of it, but in the short term, it's going to get the job done. Oh, you can see that. I'm going to have to sort the light out. I might even take this outside and show you in a minute when it stops raining, the weather's back after the glorious couple of days we had. Right. Oh man, I'm excited now, I'm excited. I'm gonna pick you up, I'm gonna take you outside and I'll show you this joint in a little bit more uh, clarity because the light's terrible. 
there you go look back to the same old <laughs> yeah. murky weather you see that now on that negative tab there you go so I've managed to put one piece on the positive and a piece on the negative and everything is hunky dory So, we can uh, bond on to that now with some more solder and uh, everything should be gravy. Guys, success. Let's fix some battery packs. And, uh, oh yeah, don't forget, it'll soon be uh, 100 subscribers time. And uh, we've got a little treat lined up for that. <laughs> See you soon.